Those are galaxies that we've never seen before. There's so many interesting things that happened this year. The Vera Rubin Observatory. So I was looking up like, you know, what, what they've been doing. One of the few things that I wanted to highlight is a photo of the Virgo cluster. Yes. Beautiful photo. And you can see how diffuse those galaxies are. Okay. Yes. The key thing is this is an average of about a thousand images. Yes. They probably have tens of thousands now. But you see how those diffuse yes. like clouds of just stars? Yes. That's not something we've seen before. Like on the right hand side, you've just got this random cloud yeah, with yeah. no real structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're seeing like a bunch of those. Yeah. Yeah. In the Vera Rubin. Right? Because usually we're like, oh, spiral galaxies, see, yeah. they're like concentrated. Yeah, yeah. Now we just got a cloud of like stars. Yeah, right, right, right. We, but we can now identify. We can now, because because we're do, we're taking so many photos of the exact same patch of sky over and over again that we can average and the signal to noise ratio goes like square root of n. So the more we take photos of, the the lower that noise becomes and we can really start seeing this incredible detail, right? We're turning the light, like we, we, I, I can't emphasize enough how little we've actually looked, like if Earth, if like, our, yeah. if our solar system is like a house, right? No, no, we've, we, we, we've barely looked out of one of the windows of the no, house. No, we've seen Zillow photos. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is, dude. Like, we, like if, yeah, if our, if our universe is a house, we've yeah. seen Zillow photos. Yeah, 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 yeah. right, right. Like we, we've not. And even, now we're like putting in like ring cameras. To you know? really see in yeah. a different room, like the the <laughs> and the volume of data that it's producing, it's is, insane. Is 